Morales native Hector Gonzalez traveled from this peaceful village to the shores of Guam, where he participated in the fighting during World War II. I enlisted in the Navy in January of 1943. I wanted to go in the Marines. I was a hospital corpsman. They put me to work in an in a amputee ward, and I took care of amputees that were coming in from Guadalcanal. The guys that were amputees, most of them got very mean because of what happened to them. They'd want to fight and argue with you, and a lot of times we'd have to tie them down. Well, you can't blame them. They asked for volunteers to go into the Marine Corps, into the medics of the Marines, and that's what I wanted, to go with the Marines, so I signed up. And my chief told me that I was crazy, and I said, I'm not crazy, that's what I want to do. We landed on Guam on my 20th birthday. We got off of the ship and went on the landing craft, landed in about five feet of water, and then got to the beach. It was a hard fight. There was a big cliff in front of us where we landed. We didn't have any cover. We were just at the bottom, and they were shooting at us from, from the cliff. We were there on the beach for about three days. The morning that we moved out, uh, they started laying up a mortar barrage at, at us from, from the hills. I ran over towards the beach, and I jumped behind some barrels, and I looked to my left, and I, I saw a mortar shell uh, hit into the sand, and that's all I remember. And then they were shaking me, and there were guys dead on both sides of me, and I was okay. I didn't get hurt. They were shooting with the machine guns from the cliffs, and somebody got wounded. And everybody starts hollering for Corman, you know. They had shot him with his machine gun. So I ran over, and I checked him out, and some way I put a bandage on him. He had a piece of shrapnel in his back. Bunch of people, real poor people, with their kids. Whenever we would get close, they would come out and then we would take them in and give them clothing and give them food. We took good care of them. Myself and a couple of my friends would go with a patrol to look for people that were out there that wouldn't surrender. They would come in, we'd pick up three or four a day. They were very, very scared. And they were starving and all they had was a lion cloth. I'd offer them food, you know, a can of fruit or a can of whatever, and they were very thankful. It's hard to describe what you go through in a war. Like in the night, people screaming and hollering, looking for you to kill you, and you don't get to sleep. It's very scary, but war is what it is. After the war, Hector returned to New Mexico. He married his girlfriend, Honey, and raised a family. Today, Hector is 91 years old. This is the first time he has openly discussed his war experiences.